This is Production Music Live with another tutorial and it's part of our EQ tutorial series and that's the very basic one. We are, we are trying to explain what an equalizer does over here and how you can use it for your purposes. I have this template track prepared. We have another tutorial on that one. Check the description. I divided it into three parts. I put the drums into this group over here. I'm going to name this drums. And you can see there are a lot of drum elements, kick, clap, off hi hat, hi hat, split, right, crash in that group, but we are not going to focus on this group right now. We are going to focus on this bass sound over here. I have a bass coming out of operator and it's playing those notes. I fold them, it looks like that. I have another track over here and that's playing a pad, a pad sound. So um, you can have a look at the pads over here. So those are the pads we are playing. And you can see in the pad, I'm also playing a bass note of the pad. So this is always the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass. And this bass now, note is basically playing the same sound and the same note as the bass over here. And that could be a problem sometimes. Because sometimes you, if you play several instruments and have them play the same note, or the same frequency range, you're piling up signal in this frequency. On this pad sound that's created with operator, with this Ableton instrument playing this MIDI over here and some effects applied that we are not going to focus on right now, we go to our audio effects, instruments, audio effects, MIDI effects, audio effects. We go to the audio effects and select the EQ8 and drag it here behind everything on this channel. We solo this channel and the EQ8 works also as spectrum analyzer. So if I take it and we play it back. You can see the played spectrum live over here. So there's a lot going on over here in the bass frequencies and there's less going on in the higher frequencies because the filters are pretty low right now and we are not playing too many high frequencies. But we are playing quite a bit over here. Let's have a look at the spectrum of the operator bass. Let's quickly do the same thing over here and play this. And you can see we are playing a lot over here as well. So if we sum that up and we play them together, we, are, we have quite a heavy signal over here. And I'm not sure if we really need that because this bass is taking care of the bass frequencies and we could tell this pad over here to go easy on those frequencies and focus on higher mid frequencies where the pad and the chord it's playing are actually lying. We could go back to the pad track try to cut out a little bit of those frequencies. So let me um, put it back into this mode. Well, basically we have several options of uh, cutting out frequencies and, and belling out stuff and, and attenuating. So we have high pass filter, four times pass filter, which is very harsh. So like this line, we are cutting out everything below 100 Hertz and we are going up the frequency range like this. So this is pretty sharp, pretty harsh cutting. But it might actually do the job over here. We could still argue if we can apply it a little less strict. So this is a little less slopey. And you see there is something staying here. So it's not such a hard application of the equalizer over here. You, um, you can, let's 
question of, of taste, basically, what, what you prefer over here. So um, I'm leaving it that way for the moment. We could also try to make a low shelf. This is the shelf. And shelves work like this. So it's basically just, we're going down here, but then we're keeping it over there. And we also have the options bell. So we like a bell, we can add things with, you know, we can make it bigger with the Q over here always and smaller. If we want to focus on tiny regions, we can increase and decrease the gain of the bell. We can go up the frequency range. So that's basically manually doing what I'm doing here. But the Q has to be applied always over here. With our manipulation of the frequencies over here, and we go back to the playback mode and we figure, yeah, well, it is actually good that way, but I want it a little less. You could also scale it down over here, which is a pretty cool feature. You're just applying 50% of what we just did if we do it like that. Um, let's go back to 100. And we can increase the overall gain of the signal after the EQ is applied. And also we can try to listen to what we are actually doing with only our bell over here by putting on the headphones mode. In this way it will tell you always what is affected by this specific bell over here. So I'm putting that back off. I'm trying to, to simply achieve what, what I was planning on doing. And that is going to be something like high pass filter over here. And it's going to be applied like this. And there's enough room for the bass. If we play them together now. Now, just for complete explanation, we have um, we also have this kind of notch curve over here. So we are notching out. If you're really looking for mistakes or or really uh, uh, annoying frequencies, you can notch them out with this curve. We have a high shelf over here, so that's basically exactly the opposite of the low shelf. Um, we also have high cut high cut extreme so you can see your eq8 just work as a filter if you go and and use it like that let me turn this off now so a filter would be able to um, achieve those drastic cuts as well as you see High cut over here with the auto filter, low cut is over here with the auto filter, and um, just you know, like notching around in the frequencies with those two options. That's basically a, a harsh version of this EQ8 being applied. Anyways, those are the basic concepts of EQing in Ableton with EQ8. If you enjoyed this tutorial, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, post them below. If you like this underlying template, there's a tutorial in the description, we'll have a link and I hope to see you next time.